All right, then, in the second part of the uh, lesson today, I'm just going to work some problems that you haven't really seen yet. And they're not a whole lot different from what you've been doing, but they just require another step. Here we go. We're going to be, we're going to solve each equation. And check solutions. Alright, so let's just say that you see a negative sign in front of the absolute value of 2x plus 3. And that's just equal to a 10. Alright, remember, before you write your two equations, you want to get just the absolute value symbol by itself. And it's not by itself. It's got a negative 1 in front of it. <clears throat> so you would divide both sides by negative 1 here. And when you do that, you get the absolute value of 2x plus 3 is equal to negative 10. <laughs> and can the absolute value ever be equal to a negative? The value that's inside this absolute value symbol can never be equal to a negative. So at this point, you can stop and you got no solution. All right, let's take a look at... like a one-half times the absolute value of 3c plus 5. Equals 6c plus 4. <laughs> now again, in this case, you've got a one in front of the absolute value symbol. And what you got to do is you got to get just the absolute value symbol on the left hand side. So you're going to start off, you're going to divide both sides by one half. And be careful because you got to divide this whole right side by one half. That means the 6c and the 4. So on the left hand side, this will cancel out. And you're just left with your 3c plus 5. And then in your calculator, if you take 6 and divide it by 1 half, 6 divided by 1 half, 6c divided by 1 half, that's 12c. And then 4 divided by 1 half, that's 8. Okay, so from here, do you understand how to move on? We're going to rewrite this thing twice now. And I'm going to rewrite it twice, but then I'm not going to go through the whole solving every step of that because we've just done a bunch of those. So when we rewrite this twice, we get the absolute value of 3c plus 5 is equal to the 12c minus 8. Now we take these, dang it, these symbols come off right here. And then the 3c plus 5, remember, it's going to be equal to. we got to negate both of these terms. All right? So this is negative 12c plus 8. Yes. 
Why is it negative 8? Yes, 4 divided by 1 half. Do you have your calculator? Try it. I don't know what I did. I, this should be positive, shouldn't it? I'm sorry. The 4 divided by 1 half is the positive 8. So that makes this the positive 8. So over here, when we distribute the negative 1, it's negative 12c minus 8, right? Sorry about that. All right, so you guys can finish it from there, right? I just wanted to show you what to do when you got a fraction in front of the absolute value symbol. All right, just like if you had a whole number in front of the absolute value symbol. Let's say we got a 7 times the absolute value of 8 minus 3h equals 21h minus 49. All right, in this problem, we got to get the absolute value symbol by itself. So we're going to divide both sides by 7 to start. And just make sure that when you divide both sides by 7, that you divide both of these terms, the 21h and the negative 49, by the 7. These 7s cancel out. So you got your absolute value of 8 minus 3h on the left. And 21h divided by 7 is 3h. And 49 divided by 7 is 7. So now you can write your two equations. And your first equation is 8 minus 3h equals the 3h minus 7. And then... The other equation is your 8 minus 3h equals, remember, you got to negate this whole right side. you got to negate both terms. So that's negative 3h, and it's plus 7. See it? And then you just finish it regular and check your solutions. If you get something that looks like two-thirds times the absolute value of 3x minus 6 equals a 4 times x minus 2. Let's do the distributive property on the right-hand side first. So on the left-hand side, we're going to keep this 2 thirds times the absolute value of 3x minus 6. And on the right-hand side, we're going to distribute this 4. So 4 times x is 4x, and 4 times negative 2 is negative 8. And now it's more like what we've just seen. So we're going to divide both sides by two-thirds. These two-thirds on the left will cancel. So we've got the absolute value of 3x minus 6 equal to Alright, now 4x divided by 2 thirds, so you go 4 divided by 2 thirds in your calculator. 4x divided by 2 thirds is 6x. And then in your calculator you got the negative 8 divided by 2 thirds. Oh, let's see, 8 negative divided by two-thirds. 
that's negative 12. So now you can write your two equations and you got 3x minus 6 equal to the 6x minus 12. And then you got the 3x minus 6 equal to, you got to negate both terms, so it's negative 6x and it's plus 12. And you can solve both and check your solutions. Any questions on any problems that look like that look like that? Any questions from anything we've done today? All right, that's as far as we're going in this chapter. That's going to be the end of this chapter. So I got some practice problems for you to do for the rest of today and then study guide tomorrow and quiz on Wednesday. You guys that are at home, I will upload the study guide to the FOCUS website as a PDF file so you can print it. And then I will do the same thing with the... Uh, with the quiz on Friday. I'll upload a PDF file so that you can print it and take it and then you can transfer your answers to focus. more practice. All right, that's the practice for today. Please be sure that you are checking focus. For homework questions. And if you didn't take last Friday's quiz, make sure that you get the electronic version taken. If you haven't taken last Friday's quiz and you're a Zoom student, make sure you get that taken care of. The thing is going to close this Saturday and, it, and you won't be able to access it again after that. So I'm going to end this meeting right now. If you have any questions, ask now or email me. And uh, we'll talk to you again tomorrow.